Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So, in previous session, we saw how to create account on GitLab. Then we saw how we can add files or do changes by using git commands. Now, today we will learn how to fork a project in GitLab. And this is going to be very easy and very interesting. And as you know, I will go very basic step by step. So today we will learn what is a fork or what is project forking and how to fork a project. So let's go ahead and first see what is fork. What is fork? So in very simple words, fork is a copy of our project. Now when we say forking a project or a repository, so this allows you to make changes without affecting the original copy or the original document. So whenever you want to make some changes through the project and you don't want to change anything in the original copy, you can create a fork. That is, you can create a copy and then make your changes and later or you can merge with the original project as well. So now let's go to our GitLab account. So we are in our GitLab account. Now we will go to our project. So as of now, I have a single project here. Once you are on your project, now we are going to fork this project. But first we have to create a group for namespace. So in here menu and here in group section, click on create group again create group and here you have to provide your group name as you want i will say my first group again here you have to say your role in your group here i will say just me and here i want to learn basic and create group and now if i go to my project now, if I click on fork, here you can change the name of your project, which is going to be fork. So I will say my fork project. And here visibility is going to be private and simply fork project. So our project is successfully forked now. Now you can also create merge request. So for example, on the copy of, of the project, I can make some changes and once I am done with my changes, I can create a merge request to merge my changes with our original branch. And here I can say new merge request and I can select the source branch and the branch name, the branch name let's say master and the target branch which is my original project and the branch will be again master and then i can say compare and continue and if there will be any changes it will come here and then it will show me as of now it will not there because we have not added anything in the copy or the fork project here if you have a team you can assign it as of now i don't have a team and then you can just submit the merge request it will go to that person he can analyze the changes and then can submit it back so this is how you can do a forking of the project or create a copy of the project. I hope this session was very helpful for you and hope you guys enjoyed it. In case you have any doubt or any question, please do write them down in the comment section below. I will try to answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.